Hi, this is Sarah from Chalkboard Nails, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do these two designs inspired by a Rodarte dress from Fashion Week. The first half of the video will show you how to achieve the bold tie-dye effect, while the second half of the video will demonstrate how to paint the sweet vintage floral. Here are the Sally Hansen shades you'll need to paint these looks. In addition, you'll also need a nail art brush, acetone to clean up between colors, and a small makeup brush or cotton swab to clean up any polish bits that end up on your fingers. If you don't have a nail art brush to use, you can achieve a similar effect by drawing with a toothpick. Let's get started on the tie-dye design. Begin by painting your nails solid white with Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in White On. Using your nail art brush, paint feathery lines spiraling out from the center of your nail with Sally Hansen Insta-Dry in Rapid Red. You want your strokes to start small in the center of the nail and get longer as you spiral outwards. Don't worry about making them neat or even. You want them to look as if they have been dyed, so a little messiness will only add to that effect. After cleaning your brush in acetone, paint some shorter, more random lines on top of your red spiral with Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Pat on the Black. This helps give the spiral some depth and matches the dyed look on the dress. Don't cover the red completely, as you just want these new lines to enhance it. Using Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Pacific Blue, paint some more feathery lines in the remaining white area, beginning a little ways away from the center this time. Be sure you don't fill up all of the white space because we will still want some white showing in our finished look. It's okay if you get some polish on your finger while you're painting along the edges. We will clean it up at the end. The final color we're going to add is Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Night Flight. This time, start painting your strokes closer to the center of the spiral along the inside edge of the red. As you move it outward, you can use it to fill in the gaps between the inside edge of the red and the outside edge of the blue. If you've gotten any polish on your finger in this process like I did, use your makeup brush dipped in remover to sweep away the mess. After you're done cleaning up, finish with top coat. Now let's take a look at the vintage floral pattern. For this design, we'll start with a base of Sally Hansen Nail Growth Miracle in Polished Pearl. After giving your base a moment or two to dry, paint on some freeform flower shapes using Sally Hansen Insta-Dry in Peachy Breeze. Make some of the flowers small and some large, and try to place them so they seem scattered around instead of evenly spaced.
Create some petal definition on the flowers using Sally Hansen Instant Dry in Rapid Red. Try to use a light touch so the lines remain thin. If you have trouble with this step, you may want to switch to using a toothpick instead of your brush. Practice makes perfect, so don't get discouraged. The next step is adding the leaves. Grab Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Night Flight and paint some leaf shapes in your negative space. We still have one more component to add though, so be sure and leave a little bit of room. The final step is to add in some smaller blue flowers with Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Pacific Blue. Try to keep an eye out for balance as you add them in, and don't be afraid to paint over some of your leaf shapes if you need to. Remember, if you need to clean up, you can use your makeup brush dipped in acetone. When you're all done, finish with top coat.